I became interested in this cold therapy really as a, a self-experiment. It was an act of desperation. I really wanted to lose weight, and nothing else had worked. At the end of the very first six weeks, I had lost 30 pounds, so I knew something was going on. Stephen came into my lab, and the idea was for him to really see how the body works. So in my lab, we have a Cosmed cork calorimeter. What this indirect calorimeter does is breath by breath measures CO2 and O2 very accurately. I had Stephen do a series of things. I had him do kettlebell swings and running on a treadmill and swimming and then just cold immersion. And we tracked the amount of carbohydrate or glycogen his body was burning to the amount of fat he was burning. Just doing the immersion ended up not only burning fat, but continuing to burn fat for you know, 30 or 40 minutes after Stephen got out of the water. So I'm working with some other scientists to look at how does this work with caloric restriction? How does this work with the kind of environment that humans evolved in? How did we really get these genes that allow us to take advantage of cold stress or caloric scarcity for longevity?